prior to that is a, a period of perimenopause, which averages eight years in people, but some people have two decades and some people may have five or 10 years where the hormones are wildly changing. And particularly we see the loss of one hormone called progesterone, which is a counterbalance hormone to our three estrogens. And that's why we see fertility issues in women as they enter their forties, because progesterone is already declining. Well, what the research shows is that the acceleration of bone loss really occurs when that estrogen is fluctuating wildly towards the end of perimenopause before you've actually hit menopause, right? So we know estrogen is protective, protective to the bone. It's wildly fluctuating, but when we're in perimenopause and we might be having sleep issues, weight gain, mood swings, all those other things. And we see that acceleration of bone loss at the same time. 